Whether it's in the water or on land, there are so many ways dogs protect our lives. Who can forget U.S. Airways Flight 1549's crash landing into the Hudson River? A perfectly good plane struck down by a flock of geese. The FAA Wildlife Strike Database has recorded over 108,000 wildlife strikes on commercial and military flights in the United States between 1990 and 2009. But how can we keep flocks of big birds from nesting at our airports and flying into our planes? Just whistle. This is Dr. Nick Carter, the director of the Bird Strike Control Program. His organization uses border collies, like Vassie here, to do what nothing else can, change the migratory habits of Canada geese. Come on. They're gone, come on. Today, nature calls them to McConnell Air Force Base in Wichita, Kansas. And this is what he and Vassie have come here to protect. What we're doing is introducing a predator back into a predator-free environment. Airports and air bases have walled off their airfields and prevented anybody from coming in, any animals, anybody else. And so birds find in a nice safe haven. And we're basically reintroducing a wolf into that environment. You can chase off birds with anything. I mean, you can, you can go out there and wave your arms up and down and they'll fly away. But the problem is they come right back. And that's because bird DNA doesn't recognize loud noises or giant airplanes as serious problems. We're working with a million years of evolution. They understand what a, a furry thing coming at them from the grass means. It means move and don't come back. That's all we're doing is giving them a choice between a field somewhere else that doesn't have a predator in it and now this field that's close to the base with a predator in it. An evolutionary no-brainer for the birds but a very different story for the dogs. We train the dogs to go against their instinct of going out and around them when we train them to go straighter towards the birds. So we're doing sort of the opposite of herding. We're actually trying to get them to frighten the birds away rather than bring them back slowly like they would with sheep. These are hard lessons for a border collie to learn. And only about 5% of the dogs that enter the year-long training program will graduate. The dogs are very, very effective. In fact, they're they're unbelievably effective. Here, for example, at McConnell Air Force Base, they've had a 30% reduction in bird strikes, and there hasn't been a single damaging strike since we've started over three years ago. In Israel, where we've had them working for over a decade now, they've gone from $10.5 million in damage to $8,000 in damage. dogs can clear tens of thousands of geese and birds off of a mile or two of open land. Uh, I'm not sure I'd want to do the job without the dog because you can have 10 or 20 people trying to do the same thing that a dog can do in literally five minutes. They're all about work and that's all they care about. They work for the love of the work itself. It's no wonder that the Border Collie is the fastest growing form of bird control on airports, military air bases, and golf courses. And this completely non-lethal program uses only rescue dogs. So the birds are saved, the dogs have great homes and jobs, and the skies are safer for everyone. All because this dog is smart, adaptable, and willing to tackle any task we point her to.